Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 15 That which have been is now And that which is to be Have already been And the most high require it And God require it The things Which is past First and foremost I want to give all praise, honor, and glory To the heavenly father And his only begotten son Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakodash Next double honors to the head apostle slash other bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith with God's with people here for a bear. The most look, who you eagerly call God, the most high Yahweh, and his only begotten son, who you eagerly call Jesus, Yahweh Shah, he saves, he delivers. They require the things which happened in the past. It, look, man, it ain't no, listen, li, listen real good. It ain't no, let bygones be bygones. You've been ruling the whole earth and wicked and sleazy eat. Esau eat them. De destroyed pretty much everything that you set your eyes upon. Mainly the Israelites, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yes, we're the biblical Hebrew Israelites. You, and you, you would never do away with that. You know, you tried. You spent billions and trillions of dollars, you know what I'm saying, to do away with our nationality. But, but, but look what happened. It popped right back on up. See, this was the last thing that you was expecting for us to regain our nationality back, our heritage, for us to remember who we are. But what did the Lord say? Ecclesiastes, because somebody going to have to pay for what happened to us. No one gets away. We didn't get away. I, I, look, the Lord said He was happy. He said He was very well pleased when He created us to be His chosen nation. So His chosen nation goes into captivity, gets beat down to death, and, and Israelites got beat to death. But oh yeah, the nation that He hates, nothing happens to them. Are, are you serious? Let's get it. Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse fifteen: That which have been is now. And that which is to be have already been, meaning what? Your spirit. It didn't been here before, right? Look, look, reincarnation. No one gets away. You lead the people into captivity. You you die. And you think that's the end all, be it all. You, you just die a peaceful death and you ain't got to never worry about nothing. No, you come back. You come back every third or fourth generation. It tells you that in Exodus, the 20th chapter, which I'll get that right quick. You come back every third or fourth generation, man. And eventually, you'll have to pay for what you did. Eventually. That's the thing about it. The, the, the Heavenly Father will get you one way or the other. What I'm reading right now is basically going into how the Heavenly Father doesn't want the Hebrew Israelites worshiping any God. And this is the reason why I'm going to just jump straight to the point. Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them, meaning these other gods, these philosophies, right? These pagan gods. For I am the Lord thy power. For I, the Lord thy power, Yahweh Bashim is thy jealous power. Visiting the iniquity, meaning the sin upon sin, your wickedness, upon the fathers. The look of the fathers upon the children until the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So you come back every three to four generations, man, after you die. Reincarnation. That's why you could cut, you could get you would be a little child, and, you, and your mama or, or some family members. I will say you you remind me of your great 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 granddaddy. Cause you him coming back every third or fourth generation or generation is like from uh, twenty six years to thirty years. Add that times three, so you die so around what about ninety something years later, you come back. So, so you, 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 look, we didn't be, if that's the case, we didn't been here a whole lot of times. I ain't gonna put a number on it. We didn't been here a lot of times, man. So I want to read that. I want to go right back and read this again. Ecclesiastes chapter three. Because people think, yo, what happened to us? Yeah, it happened to us. No, I'm saying it's over with now. You ain't got to worry about it. It's all to the good in there. No, man. Ecclesiastes 3, 15. That which have been is now. And that which is to be have already been. And the most high Yahweh. But Hashem Yahweh who you're going to call God and Jesus Christ. So no matter if we wanted it or not. 
the, the Lord said, look, look, he required he required that which is past. So whatever happened to us in the past, the Lord said, look, I'm not doing away with it. I remember everything. I had it all written down anyway. You see, Sleazy got the books hidden, but look, guess what? The Lord don't got it hidden. Revelation chapter three, verse nine. It's like a Revelation chapter 13, verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Can you receive this word? Do you hear the words that's coming out of my mouth? He that leadeth into captivity, slavery, shall go into captivity, slavery. I mean, we pick cotton and sugar cane and beets and things of that nature from sun up to sun down. No days off, maybe a Sunday. But then on a Sunday, he wants you to dance and sing for him. You know, coon the buffoon for him. Never really had any rest since we've been over here, man. Whatsoever, right? But our people think they free. Nah, man. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword. What's the, what's the matter? They swore the gun or the lynch. Being fed by different animals. Being fed to different animals. Then show favor to the young or the old. He, did, he didn't have mercy on the young or the old, man. He fed our babies to alligators. You see, let's just burn this fried, die, lay to the side, all the above, right? He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So, so what are we doing? Sitting back, waiting on the Lord to execute this scripture, execute judgment. Let's get Nate home. A, a quick look, that ain't even nothing long. He, he would not at all acquit the wicked. Let's get that Nahum right quick. The Lord will not at all acquit the wicked now. Who's the wicked? Sleazy E. Sleazy E. Everybody, everybody's starting to figure out who you are now. Nahum chapter 1 verse 2. The Most High, Yahweh is jealous. And the Lord revenges. The Lord revenges and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, right? Remember. Uh, remember going right back to Jeremiah 30 and 16 and all thine adversaries every one of them shall go into captivity every one of them every one of you heathen nations are going head first into captivity starting off with sleazy E he says uh, the Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserveth wrath for his enemies the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all he will not at all, he will not at all acquit the wicked. So, so what the hell is Jenny Jenkins talking about? Gino Jenkins talking about? And all these false church pastors, man. And these false Israelite groups that won't sleaze and eat and make it. You see? The Lord said he will not at all acquit the wicked. When someone acquits you, that means you get off scot-free. You don't have to pay any penalties or nothing. You just get to go. Walk off into the sunset. The Lord said he's not going to let this devil walk off into the sunset. For, for all the crimes, all the atrocities that this devil has done, no. This man's not going to just walk off into the sunset. That don't even sound right. The Lord said, look, he, he's perfect balance, man. To just let this devil just walk off in the sunset, that's not balance, man. To say let bygones be bygones, that's not balance, Israel. You see? Pick cotton from sun up to sun down, and, and if you got blood on that cotton, you got you got you got beat down to death. You see, barely fed us. Yeah, yeah Jay's getting killed. No saying because they ate an egg. No saying without the uh, without the slave master. No saying um go ahead say so or whatever. You see, the Lord have His way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of His feet. But the point being what? The point being what? The wicked will not be acquitted this time. You're not going to get away this time, man. You got to pay for what you did. Let's, get, let's go right back to Exodus. I'm going to go right back to Exodus. What is it? Exodus 18. Exodus 18, 21. No, that ain't it. It's um, Exodus 21. It's 16. Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. And he that still a man. You see, it's all about repetition, man. Bring out these scriptures over and over and over and over and over and over, man. All right? 
they they hate they hated it when we found out who we were, man. They wanted us to just keep calling ourselves black, Latino, Native American Indian. You see, Tonto and all this other nonsense. But now we're calling ourselves Yasha Allah, princes of the power. They know they're in trouble, man. We know who we are now, man. The Lord then gave us the information now. They gave us the, the knowledge of the scriptures now to bring it out. Exodus 21, 16, and he that still a man. Well, well, look, did we get stolen, man? They rounded us up. The transatlantic slave trade, right? They rounded us up. Sleazy eat. You know what I'm saying? The so-called Africans, the doo eating Africans, and the musty armpit smell of herbs. If they only knew what's coming to them, man. You eat them, ice, you herbs, and you so-called Africans, so we're not African. They still try to put that st stupid narrative, that byword, that proverb, oh, we're not African, okay? We're the Hebrew Israelites, right? Well, we're the biblical Israelites. Um, our language is Hebrew, you see? And he that said for man, and said of him, you know, we got we got sold on the auction blocks. Man, woman, and child, you know? Look, look, they ain't care if you was a baby, you got sold on the auction blocks. Or if he be found in his hand, and when the Lord come back, we still gonna be prisoners of war. We still, this devil ain't gonna let us go and say the pray the part of not. And if he be found in his hand, he shall surely, mean it truly, be put to death, man. All right? And look, look, that's coming straight out of the Bible. That's coming straight out of the B I B L E, man. Let's get this. Ain't, ain't no getting away, man. Ain't no getting away. What is it? Um, let's see. Bear, bear with me. I'm looking for something. What is Second Maccabees, the seventh chapter? Let's see. Yeah, Second Maccabees, chapter seven, and I'm gonna go straight to the point. Second Maccabees, chapter seven, verse thirty-one. And thou. Talking about sleazy E, Esau Edom, that has been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews. They hate us the most. That birthright, they want that birthright back, but you ain't gonna get it. Who, who are the Hebrews once again? The Israelites, man. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. We're the biblical Hebrew Israelites. Shall not escape the hand of the Most High. You, you can't escape. You're not gonna get acquitted, man. You shall not escape the hands of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and we're thankful that that's written too, man. You know, they, they got these um, slave Bibles. They don't say anything about someone paying for what they did to us. No, man, it don't, it don't go like that. Nah, nah. Let's get this. Leviticus 25 and 44. Both thy bondmen, slave men, and thy bondmaids, slave women, which thou shalt have, which we're going to own, we're going to possess, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. So we're going to take all you filthy heathens and put your head first into captivity under the order, you know what I'm saying, and the authority of who you equally call God and Jesus Christ, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see, both thy bondmen, Leviticus 25, coming straight out of the Bible, 44, both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, with that which thou shalt have, listen, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them ye shall buy bondmen and bond made. We're gonna, we're gonna sell you on them auction blocks too. We're gonna put you on auction blocks too. We're gonna put you, did, you, you didn't hear that, did you? We're gonna put you on auction blocks, man. You see? Put you dead head first on auction blocks, man. Every one of you heathens, man, are going on auction blocks, man. The man, woman, and the child. This is um, Isaiah 14, and I'm going to just hit the point. Isaiah 14, I'm, I'm going to start at 1. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, that's us. And will yet choose Israel, that's us. And set them in their own land, that's, we're, gonna, we're going back home. We're going back to our homeland, the land of Israel, that's our land, all right? We're Jacob, not you. And set them in their own land, and the strangers, Israelite foreigners, shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. We're going to take these heathens, right? And the house of Israel shall possess them, meaning own them. When you possess something, that means you own it. 
and the house of Israel shall possess them. I thought everybody was created equal. And the house of Israel shall possess them. I thought the Lord loved everybody. You see, I thought he loved all the little children all over the world. Whatever happened to that? And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. For serious and handmade slave men, slave women, and they shall take them captives. Whose captives they were. Remember, he that leadeth in the captivity shall go in the captivity. Man, that's a heavy scripture. Look, look, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Look, look, and we're gonna rule oh rule over our oppressors, man. So just get ready, man. We're gonna rule over our oppressors soon. Come on. Right? And it shall come to pass in that day. The, the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, man. And the whole earth is going to rejoice. If you read down, it goes into how the whole earth is going to rejoice when the Hebrew Israelites, the biblical Hebrew Israelites, get back into power, man. The whole earth is going to rejoice, man. The, the whole earth is going to sing. The trees are going to sing. Everything going to sing, man. When this devil get taken out of power, man, it's going to be a beautiful thing, man. The Lord said he hated them that love and violence, man. You can find that in his Psalms. You see, matter of fact, let's get it right quick. This is Psalm, what is it, 11 or 12? I'm just flowing this, man. I'm, I'm, I'm about to wrap it up, man. It, it's just a beautiful thing, man, to know. That's going to come back up on their head soon. Come, man, let's get it. Psalms chapter 11. Verse 5, the Lord tried the righteous. But the wicked sleaze to eat. Esau eat him. And him that loveth violence, his soul hateth, man. So whatever happened to the God of the Bible loving everybody? He said the man that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Well, who's, who loves violence? Sh shit, sleaze to eat. They love violence more than anybody. You see? They're the author of all mischief, man. Okay? They're the wicked according to the Bible. You see? It's going to be a beautiful thing. Lamentations chapter 4. Verse 21. Rejoice. And be glad. O daughter of Edom. Esau Edom. This is your time. You, you're supposed to be dancing the night away right about now. You're supposed to be twisting and shouting. Man. You're supposed to be going all out right about now. man. You ruling too. You ruling the earth too. You're supposed to be rejoicing right about now. You own every damn thing. You got the best parts of the land. You got the food. You see, you got everything right about now. You 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 shouldn't be happy. You shouldn't be sad at all. You should be you should be the um, the most happiest nation on the face of the earth. You're actually ruling the whole entire earth. So rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellers in the land of us, code name for America. The cup also shall pass through unto thee slavery. Get whipped on your back, getting fed the alligators, caught working from sun up to sun down. Sun up to sun down, work, working uh, 24 hour shifts. You see, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be, thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. You will drink the dreads of it too. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. That's us. The Lord said, your punishment is over now. Only thing we're doing, we're just waiting on the Lord now. Going through this last little phase. You know. It says, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. Sleazy, he will never carry us into captivity ever again. Never being caught off on cargo slaves. Our people should be rejoicing right about that. But they love this devil though. They still want to be part of this devil society when the Lord said, look, we get ready to rule over these devils, man. We get ready to rule over our oppressors, man. But, but Jake don't even want it. The Lord said, I'm getting ready to give you the power to rule over your oppressors. Jake don't even want it. He would no more carry thee away into captivity. He would visit thine iniquity. Your sin upon sin, your wickedness, O daughter of Edom. Sleazy E, Esau, Edom, man. I do me, man. You see, so-called white people, man. He will discover thy sins, man. And, and it, it is it is it is what it is. It's a beautiful thing, though. 
It's a beautiful thing to know that they're gonna have to pay for everything they did to us, man. Look, they won't want to reveal it to us. You, you think you think Sleazy E was gonna actually tell us that he was gonna have to pay for everything that he did to us? No, man. He ain't want no information like that to come out. Sleazy E didn't never want no information to like like that to come out. Ezekiel 25, 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. Sleazy E, Esau Edom. The Lord said he's gonna lay his vengeance upon Edom. By the hand of my people, Israel. By the hand of my people. The word my is possessive. Okay, a, a possessive pronoun, right? By the hand of my people, Israel. So the Lord is going to let the Israelites handle Edom, man. And then the Lord is going to put his spirit in the Israelites, man, to handle Edom, man. No chance, no win in hell. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger. The Lord is going to put his anger, his fury in the Israelites, man. It's going to be a cold deal for you, Esau. A cold deal, Esau. Edom is going to be a cold deal for y'all, man. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger. Because we can't, we can't get angry enough. And according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance. Sleazy he gonna know the vengeance of the Lord. And they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? Man. Ah, boy, boy, boy. Mm, 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 mm. All you, all man, what are you nations gonna do? What are you nations gonna do? When the Lord come for you, shalom.